16-year-old cousin Ina fell for her boyfriend a year ago. And she quickly found herself lavished with gifts from her traveler Valentine. This one time, and it was coming up to Valentine's Day. He was going to her wedding and I went to her disco. And um, he came out and get me hair done and he said to me, um, come to the car, so I came on off to the car and he, um, he lifted the boot open and he had this massive teddy bear and these massive cards and chocolates and perfumes and cameras. I was like, oh my God, I think so even. But yeah, it was good. The romantic gestures were successful and Ina will soon walk down the aisle. So how did you know Michael was the one? I just knew. Like some people say, you kiss a hundred frogs to get your prince. I, only had to, I don't even think I had to kiss a few to get mine. Yeah. I got mine very fast. It's important for most traveller girls that their wedding outshines everyone else's. So Ina, who's getting married in six weeks' time, is keeping the details of hers as secret as possible. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the bridesmaids must remain blindfolded during the all-important <laughs> dress fitting. Are you worried about the dress? No, not really worried. Hopefully, shouldn't be. Okay, now I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> Dress designer Katie normally makes corsets for London's burlesque scene. This is her first traveller wedding. I have to say, I think this is probably the first time I've ever had to blindfold anybody <laughs> doing a fitting. Why do you think the wedding is such an important part of uh, a traveller girl's life? Because the last time you're, like, you're with your parents and it's the last time you have, like, I don't know, you have your freedom and that's it, then you're married. Well, and I'm feeling corset, <laughs> and I'm feeling sticky out. <laughs> so really, it's just colour. <laughs> yeah. I, I better not be tango. <laughs> <laughs> and as she prepares for her wedding day, the 16-year-old is determined to look as good as possible. I want to get on the bed. 15 minutes. And give me, I'm gonna go on the machine as well, yeah. What harm is the sunbed? Everyone has cancer, just take something to set it off. But the sunlight outside can give it to you as well as sunbed, so I can't see what to blame is that. Appearance is especially important for a traveller bride. What are you doing today, maximum? Okay. Arms, lock them. Okay? Yeah. Feel it? Yeah. Okay, and leave it for you. Bye. Like it's weird. It's going through your whole body. Can't be bothered to do exercise, so I'm just going on this. And the quest to lose weight can be taken to extreme lengths in the run up to the wedding. Wow. What's the traveller's diet? Eat nothing. Literally eat nothing. That's the way you lose weight. Her bridesmaids have had all their fittings. Now it's Ina's turn to try on the unique dress that she's asked to be made for her. It's so heavy that she must take special safety precautions. It's uh, called a bumper and it takes the weight of the slips off of me hips because a lot of girls be left with scars and like really bad marks after the, after the wedding because their dresses are so heavy. Often traveller girls want their dresses to echo those of Disney princesses. To make her gown stand out from the crowd, Ina has requested that it be made from a fabric that is more commonly used as wallpaper. So she's got a really heavy duty corset on, which is kind of protecting the skin so we can put all the weight of, the, of all the petticoats and skirts on top. So it's kind of weighing on, onto that rather than straight onto her skin. In the theory. You need to lose some room. Because of the choice of material, this dress is by far the heaviest Katie has ever created. Does it feel heavy? 
But Ina is willing to suffer for her wedding, which was born outside the strict rules of traveller courtship. I wasn't allowed a boyfriend until I was 16, and I liked him and he liked me, so he asked me to go with him. I kept it a secret from mummy. But my uncle squealed, he found out. He was a pig. <laughs> yeah, never carry on, right? Ina is giving a sneak peek of her dress to her sister and to her cousin, Teresa. What are you doing? I'm writing nine on their wedding day. It says, have a good wedding. The party don't start without me. <laughs> What's the most important thing to a girl on the wedding day? Your dress. Your dress. That's it. They have to be lovely. I won't get married when I'm um, when I'm young like her. It's not my drink to cook, not my drink to clean up. <laughs> She's a little weirdo. <laughs> Eight-year-old Teresa is not the only member of the family to shun the tradition of marrying young. Ina's maid of honour, her cousin Estella, is 18 and still happily single. The first pair of heels I'd ever put on, and I walked, twisted me ankle, fell over. Thought I think I was about five or six. Well, I did learn to walk on them. I walked around the whole house for like three days in them, and I was cool. In the traveller world, the rules of romance are strikingly different for men and for women. With a travelling girl, it's they have to always stay at home. And when they're asked for it, like, you get an awful lot more strictness as well because it's like um, there's a worry of the boy trying to get what he wants before the wedding day. He just wants what he wants. <laughs> but he can't have that until the wedding day. It's the whole meaning of wearing white. While girls must remain pure, the boys they will wed often enjoy greater freedoms. Do the boys have to stay faithful once they're engaged? Not once they're engaged, once they're married. So if a boy is engaged to a girl, he can still sleep around with other girls? Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I guess. It's not very nice to talk about, but after the ring is on the finger, that, that, that there is a different story. Teresa's cousin Ina is tying the knot at 16. That little dress is nice, isn't it? It's nice, it'll dazzle. But the tradition of marrying young is increasingly being questioned by modern traveller women. Do you think Ina's quite young to be getting married? I, mean, I do think they are very, very young to go into something so committed. I mean, it's that one person, isn't it, for the rest of your life? But you'd be getting it in the white as well. So. Ina is confident she is making the right decision, but her marriage will come at a price. She'll have to leave behind her family, including sister Biddy and cousin and best friend Estella. She literally cried for three days when I got asked for it. And I haven't days. cried in years. It's, just, it's gonna be weird, like having her gone. Yeah. I'm gonna get stupid now. <sighs> and I'm gonna cry. Don't do it. Yeah. She's starting. <laughs> I'm starting today. Go away from me. <laughs> we, we weren't supposed to leave each other till we were grey. That was the deal. Oh, God, there's a clown. <laughs> In common with many traveller girls, Ina will move to another area, once wed, to live amongst her groom's family. And once upon a time, <laughs> in a land far away called Wantus, <laughs> there was a little princess called Ina. <laughs> yeah. She met her prince <laughs> in spades. <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow, 16-year-old Ina will wed her Prince Charming. Will you put your head back? 
But tonight, she's spending her last evening as a single woman with her sisters and cousins. She's half asleep in her mummy's bed tonight. <laughs> hug, her mommy the the hug her mummy the whole night. Annie, you're going to be sad to say goodbye to all of this. Yeah. Yeah. She's moving on to better We're places. Gonna come again. She's going to better places. <laughs> Less than 1% of British brides are in their teens, but many young traveller girls believe if they wait until they're older, they run the risk that traveller men may overlook them. Yeah, my daddy got mine at 16, so you're on the shelf. Oh, you're on the shelf if you're 16. No, 19. 24 is antique section. <laughs> yeah. People, they'd say about me now, she's only 16, she hasn't seen nothing in her life. But every, I go, I'm still going to go places and still going to go to weddings and do's, but I'm just going to do, do it along with him. Do you know what I mean? So I am going to still live my life. The only thing is I won't get to meet other boys, but I don't want to meet other boys. And that's me. Eighteen months ago, two young travellers began a secret courtship. You know it's the enchanted hairstyle, don't you, yeah? But today, tradition will be asserted and the couple will seal their love in front of their families. For Ina, bridesmaid Estella, and the rest of the bridal party, the day begins early. And about two hours sleep. Exhausted. It's a big moment, not just for Ina, but the whole family. It's cameras and it's memories and it's goodbye and hello, really, isn't it? So it's important to look back and say, yeah, well, I done it the way I wanted to do it. You spend half your life playing with Barbie dolls and the other half trying to look like one, I suppose. Close your eye. What's your style? Diamonds, loads and loads of diamonds. It's our religion, you know, like, we all, we all like diamonds, every single traveller. You had no diamonds on your clothes, you'll be mad at shove. <clears throat> no, no one will laugh at you. Many travellers' romances begin at weddings, and for single girls like Estella, it could be a chance to be spotted by a future partner. You can get grabbed a million times a year if you go out constantly and whatever. But if you go around kissing every boy in town, you're not, like, going to get a good name from it. It's like, oh, she was everybody's anyway. What's the point? I can have her tomorrow, the next day. It's, it's an easy grab, really. What do you think you, you would look for? Me? I'd like a good person. I wouldn't have to argue with lots. <laughs> Fairy dust. Close your eyes and make your way. Oh, do you need any more on there? I do. Oh. Right, there's two cards, look. Ina's custom made dress will make her every inch the princess of her dreams. Where'd you catch her? I have her. I have her. But wearing a gown made with 55 metres of material covered in heavy fabric will take its toll. The rope is cutting me. This rope, hey? Yes, that rope. Mm. Okay, sorry, I got you. The slips are stabbing me and the rope is rubbing me. It's burning me, yeah. The wedding should have started half an hour ago. Ina's groom and their families have been left kicking their heels. All travellers are late, but they're supposed to be late. Yeah. I don't know what the reason is. It's, a, it's I think, something got to do with the culture. Do you know when um, my cousin's going to be? Let's hope it's not too long. An hour and a half later, the congregation are still waiting. But in a dress this size, hurrying is simply impossible. Martina, bring the room, Martina, see your daddy. Daddy, my daddy! 
Everybody's getting very wound up. Don't bring that into the church, please don't. Darling, don't bring that into the church, please don't. It is a sacred building and ask people not to eat and drink in church. It's, uh, it's not the place. <laughs> There's still no sign that she's here. No sign at all. It's taking too long. Too long, Kate. Two hours behind schedule, and Ina is yet to leave the hotel. Besides, lift up your dress and you put your foot in there. Watch your head. Very heavy. I don't know. I really don't know. There's no way of knowing either. Nobody else here seems to know and nobody else seems to care particularly either. Two and a half hours late, the wedding finally has its fairy tale princess. Ina's 17-year-old groom doesn't want to be identified, as he fears his family business could suffer from the stigma attached to them as travellers. Eileen Priscilla Casey. Come I, Eileen Priscilla Casey. Do you take thee to be my lawful wedded husband? To have and to hold <laughs> from this day forward. <laughs> to love and to cherish <laughs> till death do us part and always live together in peace, goodwill, and love. Eileen, please take this ring as a sign of my love and fidelity. The young couple have cemented their love, but Ina's joy is tempered by the weight of her dress. Ina has been snapped up by the man of her dreams. And as guests celebrate, new romances can flourish amongst the next generation. The best thing to do, then when she's outside, hold her on, like tighten her up, bring her over to the corner, yeah, dark, a, a dark space. If you don't give her a if she don't give you a kiss, squeeze your finger and she yeah, might give yeah, you a kiss. Yeah, Back inside, the heavy dress is still causing Ina problems. It's the hoops that's digging in. And when I'm telling you, I've had one dance and my waist is in bits. Kane's beauty. I need an advice to travel here and do not get a big dress because if it was ever been coming back again, I wouldn't do it. Huh? Your horse flesh. Mm. Wait, no, what do you think? Despite being in pain, she manages to rejoin the party. And tomorrow, the 16 year old starts married life 200 miles away with her new husband. A bit weird to be losing her. But yeah, it was really good. I look really happy. She's never been away from home before. We're quite close family. And she just, I think she's felt it now, tonight and today more than any day. The pressure and knowing that she's gone away from her family. It's what you make of your marriage and it works out. And they're, they're, they're two of a kind. I have no worries, even though she is very young. 